Hi guys, welcome back to the Alpha Crypto channel. I talk about cryptocurrencies, crypto airdrop, crypto news, and everything in the crypto space. I make video, I review tokens, I review top gainers on coin market cap, and I talk about projects you guys want me to talk about. I give signals, I tell you coins to invest in, and a lot of stuff. So the content I'll be doing today, the first content is a content somebody told me to review. I saw this when I made a video on um, Rich Quack. You know, a lot of you guys tell me to review a token and stuff like that. I see your comment. It's just that I'm always too busy, but when I have the chance, I try as much as possible to make um video on the token you want me to review. So somebody said this is so harm I share it. It's another great video. Yeah, tick, please. I have my doubts and I really like your analysis. So this person wants me to review Yetik coin and I'm gonna do that today. Somebody told me to review Little Rabbit and also um Pitbull, Pitbull token and Little Rabbit. Well, I have those projects. I'm going to do that as well. And um, if you leave a comment below this video, if you want me to review any token, I'm going to review it. And somebody said I should review a coin. I'm also going to do that without wasting much of your time. Let's go straight to today's video. I'll be talking about Yetik coin, and I'll be telling you guys everything I can analyze from this project and my opinion every information i give you is majorly for educational purpose this is not a financial advice please make sure you do your own research before you invest your money in any crypto project because crypto is a very risky form of investment with high returns if it works and if it doesn't work you might lose a lot of money everything i will do in my review is i'm going to talk about the project talk about the overview look at the official website then i'll you know check the market capitalization of the project i'll check some informations um i'll go on token sniffer i'll look at the liquidity of the project then based on all this information i'll give you guys my final conclusion so the name of this token is yeti yeti coin yeti coin also known as yeti it's currently on the watch list of 1286 people and this is built on the ethereum erc20 blockchain technology at the time of recording this video this token is down 45 percent 45.68 and there is no market capitalization on core market cap you can't find the market cap on core market cap the trading volume is down 40 percent and the fully diluted market cap of this token is 4.4 over 4.4 million dollars so let's quickly analyze this now if you look at the last seven days there was the time this token went very high this was on the 17th of november this is like five days back five six days back this token went very high. i'm sure a lot of people would have people that bought low would have taken profit here and right now the token is down is down is down is down and if you want to invest in this token at the end of this video if you find it convincing it's wiser to buy a token when it is low so that when it goes up you pick your profit but one thing i want you to do is i want you to make sure you watch this video to the end to see my analysis and trust me i am open to your comment your opinion concerning my analysis everything i say is based on my own opinion you might have a contrary opinion it is highly welcome now they said we are a coin that is passionate about crypto and fitness we are looking to promote and sponsor youth sports and activities and then be able to host our very own youth sports camps for kids to attend free so basically this token they are telling you that it is a fitness and a sports driven token i find that interesting so they want to host their youth camp for kids and they want to sponsor sports right basically that is very straightforward very simple the project looks very simple and very straightforward and you know it's in the sports area unlike some tokens that they'll be like they want to build nft they want to create an nft marketplace they want to create an exchange platform they want to do this and this but one thing i noticed about this token is that there is no white paper the white paper is not here which is not something um I'm, I'm not comfortable with that because the white paper of a project will make you know the information about that project it's like you doing fundamental analysis you get the information you know more about the project you have an idea of how they intend to achieve what they want to achieve you have a clarity of direction of where the project is going to i hope 
that this information I need to help my review, I'm going to get it in their official website because normally people put their white paper on coin market cap. So I'm going to open the link of the official website. While I'll look at their community, there's no community here. Maybe the, some of the information are not listed on coin market cap. So let's go straight to the official website. Now this is Yetik Token official website, and this website looks very very basic, just like any basic website. In fact, it looks like something that was just made by I don't know. This is the official logo of this token, right? Now, if you look at this, they say turning doubters into believers. How do you intend to turn doubters into believers? What kind of doubters are you talking about? What you do is a spot. Um, form of token. So, who are the doubters? People that don't believe they can work out, or doubters that don't believe your project is going to be successful. And if you say you want to turn doubters into believers, how? There's nothing about that here. And yeah, this is they said there's a chat. I'm going to open this chat in a new tab. And these are the social media. I have the Telegram, Twitter, Discord, Uniswap, Coin Market Cap, Coin Gecko. Right? You can find us on these platforms. They have a Twitter, they have a Telegram, and they have a Discord. So I'm going to check the Telegram group to know the number of people in their Telegram group. Then, currently they just have 266 subscribers, 266. That is very low for a Telegram group. It shows that probably this token is new or this token is not popular yet. Right, I'm going to find out if it is a new token and if people are holding it. I'm going to check the number of people that are holding it on Etherscan. So guys, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because that's when I'll draw my conclusion. So from the official website, I'm yet to see um, a white paper. I'm yet to see a roadmap. I'm yet to see anything that makes a project um, what investing. Okay, now from here, from this menu, I've seen the roadmap. So I'm going to open this roadmap in a new tab. This is okay. Then I'm going to check the white paper. I'm going to open the white paper in the new tab. I'll open the token economics in the new tab. And I'll check the team. If the team is here, then that means they have nothing to hide. They're kind of transparent. If they can actually re review the name of the people of their team. But this website doesn't look well. The color is not like white and blue. I can't even read the test carefully. It said the roadmap, the possibilities are endless when it comes to how big a difference in the world we can make the Yeti coin slogan. Okay, I can't even say the full stop. You said the possibilities are endless when it comes to how big of a difference in the world we can make. That's true. The Yeti coin slogan is turning doubters into believers. So, stage four of the roadmap puts us to one of our big milestone goals of using marketing funds from the community to be able to pay for children to attend sports camps hosted and run by Yeti coin. Right? Um, this is a this should be a sport organization a sport agency or a sports whatever that are really concerned about sports and they are now having their cryptocurrency as a way of supporting their sport and like you know people investing in their projects so that they can raise funds to achieve some of their goals they've done the first the, the roadmap they said life now 500 orders coin gecko listing give away 2500 orders stage two they've not got in 2500 orders 1000 first edition apparel line donation to the youth activities come market cap right so many stuff in the state three they want to have 15,000 orders stage four they want to have 50,000 orders but yet they are yet to get 2,500 orders so they are still in the stage one kind of but let's let's move past this phase i've seen the roadmap yeah i'm going to show this um the white paper i'll have to download a pdf Okay, I might not be able to review this white paper now. I'll just have to download it and leave it. I would probably read through it maybe in the future if I have the time. You know, let's see. The token economics. Yeti coin believes all long term orders should be rewarded. That is why 1% of every bond and sell transaction will be distributed back to the holders. 1% is actually very low. Continuous growth is very important in the crypto space. So 5% will go to marketing and development, partnership and future buybacks from born this gives us flexibility to um 
send funds where it can grow the project they are really more focused on their marketing and promotion of the project not really as much as they want the community to make profit it's one percent to go back to the liquidity pool to create more stable prices over time i feel five percent for marketing is too much why people that are holding the token are just getting one percent and liquidity pool is getting one percent that is my opinion anyway but then if you are an investor like you want to do this to make money um, I, I don't think I want to, you know, buy this kind of token where I'll be getting one piece. I'm expecting like two percent from the transaction fee, the buy and the sell, you know, and stuff like that. So they said the maximum wallet size is two point five percent to prevent to help prevent whale manipulation of price. Yeah, when the money maximum wallet is two point five percent, it will help prevent whale because whales will not be able to acquire so many of the tokens so that in the future when they dump it, the project will not become useless, which is quite understandable. And the total supply is actually too much. If they have a total supply of one quadrillion, that is too much. How do they intend to bond the one quadrillion? Because if they don't bond some part of this token, it will not the value would not okay. Let me see something. I saw something like they said five percent marketing development partnership, future bond backs, okay, buybacks and bonds. Um I wanted to see how they intend to bond some part of this one quadrillion is it um quarterly is it yearly and stuff like i know that bnb they burn their their token quarterly so like every four four months i think um i'm not i just check the website let's move the team okay now there's something i like here uh, this team the the pictures of the members that form this team are here and it gives the project more um more transparency and it means that the people the, the the guys the team will be more accountable like they are genuine their intentions are known so that alone is a very good sign for me right i'm going to tell you guys my final conclusion on this project um if we move past you we'll come to dextus.io you're going to see the chart also see the market cap right now the the total market cap is just five million dollars and the diluted market cap is five million dollars the five million dollars market cap is not bad for a token that have just 200 and something people in the telegram group so i need to now check the number of people holding the token now dex dex score gives this token 95 over 100 which means dex to believe that this dex to i mean believe that this token is um not a scam or something like that I, a lot of people are, are buying, you know, some few minutes ago, some people just bought this token, right? And I said it that now that the price is low, it's best time to buy. When it goes up, you sell off. But let's move past this phase. Then I'm going to give you my final opinion about this token. I'm going to check, copy this contract address, take it to token sniffer. It would be nice if the team can actually update this and put their white paper on um, coin market cap. You know it will, it will be nice so let's let's quickly check it as scan but so far i've not seen anything that will actually make me call this token a scam i don't see anything that makes it a scam it's just i'm just seeing a token that the fundamental project is good but personally my own opinion you can actually buy it if you really like the project if you're into sport and fitness but i, I don't i would not want to invest my money now on this project because i have some other projects that are like hot kicks that I can quickly invest my money and make faster gains you know this so this is something i can probably do later in the future yeah so let's let's quickly check it as scan for this token and let's finish this video i'll go to token sniffer to do my conclusion so on it scan let's see two minutes ago four minutes ten minutes people are, a couple of people have bought this token so I'm just going to check. I want to check the number of people within the token actually because I already know with what I've gotten so far, this token doesn't look like a scam. Mm -mm, it's not a scam, you know. It's not. I'm just trying to check how valuable this token is or could be. Do you understand? But this token is not a scam. So if your fears or your worries, if this project will be a scam, there will be a rock pool or something. I don't think so. I don't think that will happen with this token. Currently, they just have 1,576 holders. 1576 orders and from what you can see nobody's holding more than 2.5 percent like they actually said nobody's holding more than 2.5 percent 
um, you have five hundred and five hundred and seventy six orders. So finally, I'm gonna go to token sniffer to see if I can see any other issue. Now, token sniffer gives this token fifty over hundred. This token is fifty over hundred. The token is sellable. The buy fee is seven percent. Sell fee is six point nine percent. So why is this sell fee um slightly lower? Anyway, six point nine seven percent, almost the same. Now the token has high selling fee. Yeah, we know that there's a verified contract, no prior. Guys, honestly, this token is not a scam. This token is not a scam. Like from what I can see here, um, the liquidity is enough token in the liquidity. The creator wallet contains low. Um, the only thing I just have is the fundamentals of the the project, which it is not necessarily. In as much as the, the there's a roadmap and they've told you what you want to achieve with your project, if you think it's something you would you have passion for, like maybe you are interested in this fitness interested in sport you can actually invest in the project and if you want to invest in the token you can go ahead and invest in the token but the only thing is that the number of people holding the token is low however that is not an issue because we can at least see the team and there's a le huge level of transparency so overall i don't think this token is not a scam i don't think it's a scam i'm very confident it's not a scam and then um, i don't think they will rock pool they have enough liquidity you know and I, I think if you want to invest in this token, you can go ahead and invest. But just make sure you read the white paper, you do your own research. And I think they need to invest more on their marketing. Like they need more popularity because if more than somebody recommended or suggested this token, I would not see this. That being said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn my bell post notification on. So that when I drop interesting content, you'll be among the first to see it. Bye for now and I hope to see you in my next video.